Hi everyone. Well, today we are out here at the southwest side of our barn and we have uh, just a mess to clean up from the wind damage from last week. Last week we had the um, cyclone bomb style winds and I don't know how fast the winds blow for a cyclone, but they blew pretty hard here. We have things scattered everywhere and today we're going to be out here cleaning that up a little bit more. Um, we had some damage to the chicken run and the greenhouse is missing. Um, it's not missing, it's here, but it's missing from its spot and its spot is uh, pretty bad. Things have blown everywhere. Everything that was inside the greenhouse is out. And so I've let the chickens out. It means I'm going to be out here. I can watch them and uh, keep an eye out for any predators. So they're going to be out free rangey today. They're going to love it. It's about 34 degrees, so it's warmer than it's been here in a very long time. So it's the perfect day to get out here and get things done. We thought we'd bring you along and show you the not so pleasant part of homesteading where you have to go out and fix things and get things done. So come along with us and we'll show you what we're going to be working on and we're going to get started. So directly in front of me, we have this mess here and um, I'm not sure kind of what board that was on, but there it is. It's there now. And um, we had some wood stacked from a project we were working on and it has blown everywhere. And um, the wheelbarrow was there, but it didn't blow. But part of our uh, the black roofing, part of that is over there. And then if you look over here, all of this over here was stacked neatly inside the greenhouse and that area was the greenhouse i'll take you over there and show you where it sat and how we had it um, contained uh, to not blow away and it did so we're going over there and i'm going to show you that and we're just going to work on getting this area all cleaned up and put back together today okay so right here there is a pad of stone and you can see here there's our new little guy his first crow so that's pretty exciting we um we just picked up a new rooster yesterday and we did have a rooster previously and he is over there crowing so that is nice um him getting settled in and that's another reason i'm out here working today so i can make sure that he is adjusting well to the rest of the flock so here is the pad where the pea gravel is where the greenhouse set now it has blown on us before a little bit so we were cautious and we took um these posts here these t posts and we put two of them in one on each side of the front and then we had taken the legs and stuck the legs inside blocks only half half size cinder blocks and uh, I can see there is a zip tie and there is still a zip tie right here on uh, this post. Um, and then there's also two fence posts in the back that we had it tied to with the ropes that come with it. And so we had it zip tied several times around those posts on the inside so that it wouldn't move. And then the legs were stuck in the cinder blocks. There's one, there's one that it's, they're just broken in half. And I don't know if you can see, let's see if I can adjust the lens to go that far, but right about here, there is the cinder block that is still whole and it's coming down this leg to the greenhouse. So it is still on the greenhouse. We'll go over and take a closer look. And I can tell that my fabric is torn in a couple places. So it got dislodged from these two posts. This is a uh, about a four foot, three, three and a half to four foot metal fence behind us. And uh, those are the fence posts for it there. And over here, you can't really see it. There we are, there's one and there's one right here. Um, so it was tied to all four of these posts and you can see the string is still hanging right here. So it tore off. And um, I don't know where the other string is, but it got dislodged from the blocks, dislodged from the fences, up over the fence and into the thicket of trees. There we go, into the thicket of trees. And this is it, you can see this big tear here. 
and this big there's a big tear at the top so we're gonna go over assess the damage and figure out the best way to uh, try to get it out of there and get it back and so I can take a good look at it and see if I'm actually even gonna be able to use it this year now it is March 2nd and in a couple of weeks I would have liked for um, it to be able to start housing seeds out here and I see that that's probably not going to happen and I'm not sure how we're going to make that happen. Um, so I'm going to have to look and see if I can find the booklet that goes to it and um, maybe find out the manufacturer and see if they still sell those. So first thing I'm going to do though is I'm going to come out here and I'm going to start cleaning and restacking everything that was in the greenhouse and get that all cleaned up and put in the barn out of the way and then I'm going to clean up uh, some more things that are out here that got blown away. And then we're going to get in there and move that greenhouse. So, Okay, I am going to get started with the cleanup of the things that were inside of the greenhouse before it blew over. These trays were stacked neatly in there and sorted, but now obviously they are not. And we've also had some rain and ice uh, mixed since then, so it's... 34 degrees, but it's not real sunny, so some things are still in, stuck in the ground, and some things are obviously broken, and I can't use them again, so I have to sort out what is good and what is not good, and here is that string that goes to the other side of the greenhouse. We couldn't find it. It is still stuck on the stake that went into the ground, and um but obviously it's been torn off of the greenhouse. And when that happens, I believe the corner of the greenhouse is torn off as well. And you just see me put away another small metal greenhouse that I use inside to start the seeds on. And a lot of that is still missing and a couple pieces were broken. So I'm not sure uh, if we're gonna use that as well. So just a couple more things to do here and this area is all cleaned up. We are now gonna turn our attention over to in front of the run where there is some building debris that was stacked there and the wheelbarrow, you can see all the straw that was in the wheelbarrow, it's all over the place. So I think actually laying on its kind of top and there's the block that was at the end of this leg right here it has just slid down so we have to take that off and then I think our best bet is to try to remove the top because we're not going to move it with the top on and the walls so we have to take that off and I'm going to take that in the house and warm it up and see what I can do to fix it if I can but I think our best bet is to just take that top off before we try to move it. So actually what we did is we took the legs off first. Um, that seemed to make the most sense. And then we were able to remove the top frame. And it's super light, guys. This is just aluminum, and so it's super light. He hands that over the fence to me. And I uh, just put it back in the place. We are not going to put this back together just because... Um, we want to assess everything else. We're just cleaning up today. And then next, uh, this allowed the top to be freed from the trees without any further damage. And he's being very careful to get it up off the ground and away from the trees and the old weeds that were out there so we can move it uh, easily and get it over the fence. So see how we're being very gentle here to get it up over the fence without it getting caught or snagged on anything else because we know there is some damage and we don't want to do any more damage to this and it's brittle and cold and we don't want it to tear or anything like that so next we're going to bring it over and just lay it out on the ground and fold it up and friends let me tell you why i was so bummed about this cover tearing um i got this greenhouse just because I live in faith and I remember being at Lowe's right about this very same day four years ago and having all this acreage to plant I was so excited and I said Lord I just need a greenhouse and I literally turned the corner and they had these two greenhouses in these boxes and they had the bright yellow clearance sticker on them. if you know Lowe's clearance sticker it will say now price at the top and regular price at the bottom or it says was price 
And so the was price was one sixty nine ninety eight. The now price was thirty six dollars and ninety eight cents. I was like, oh Lord, thank you so much. And it was like God saying, now's your time, girl. Go ahead and get it. So I did. And unfortunately, they do not make this uh, top anymore. I contacted the manufacturer. I did find it on Amazon by another company, and I did contact them as well. And they will not sell a top. It all comes together, and they will not sell a top to me. So I am going to have to try to fix this up the best I can. And um, we're going to bring it inside, like I said, and get it warmed up. And it's going to have to be washed. And we'll see uh, if I can find some tape to stick to it or anything that's going to make it work. Um, it's very close to seed starting time here. It That will be next week. And um, it needs to be ready to be in use in a few weeks from seed starting time, of course. We're not going to just put the seeds outside next week. So there is time, and I just have to live in faith. I just have to know that if I found this deal once before, there is no reason I cannot find this deal again. Good things are coming, and I can just always count on that. So I'm trying not to be so bummed about this. And if you have ever had a top like this, a cover, this is a PVC blend mix. It's not just plastic. And it even has like real thick white string going through and these little bitty tiny white squares that make it extra durable. Not for cyclonic winds, of course, but for normal wear and tear, it's so much better than just plain plastic. So if you have ever experienced a tear like this, how did you fix it? Did you use a special glue or tape or um, how did you manage to get it back together? So we're just going to finish this up, folding it very gently and getting it ready to be moved more efficiently. And like I said, I'll take it in the house and warm it up and wash it and um, make my dining room just the patch patch area for this tarp. So all folded up and ready to go. And we're just going to move it out of the way now. And I just want to show you a little sweep of the area that we got it all cleaned up. I was so happy to see all of that debris gone and cleaned up out of our way. Um, we just put the greenhouse back. And we didn't put, like I said, we didn't put it back together. We just put it back in its spot. All the debris is cleaned up and all of the wood and everything was all hauled away. So inside the run, you can see here that all along the top of the tarp we had across the roof, all of the zip ties have pulled off and all the grommets are pulled out. And there was another tarp across here. You can see that it came down over here and it's just kind of laying on the ground over here. It's still attached to this post over here. Now, we know this is not pretty. If you um, seen over on Instagram or if I posted on here before that uh, the material we ordered for to enclose was on back order, but lucky for us, I just checked uh, yesterday and the material is back in stock and it is discounted at least $10 per sheet that we need. So that is awesome. So we'll be able to fix this up. So I don't know what we're going to do about the roof. The tarp really wasn't, um, it has a lot of holes. I don't know if you can see over here, like a couple rows over, there's a big hole. So it's really not going to keep them dry anyway. So I don't know if we're going to try to fix that or just take it off. And the same with this one. You'll be in March. We do have a few cold days coming up, but it is... It is spring and maybe uh, we won't have so much wind from the east blowing this way and making them cold. So whether we'll leave this on or take it off, I don't know. But those are a couple things that we are looking at. Also on the other side of the run, let me turn the camera around and show. I have this sunshade and normally there is a a post here, this A-frame that holds it up and it acts as a canopy keeping uh, any um, aerial predators like hawks away. And in fact, as I look over here, 
turn it without getting you sick, turn too fast. Up here, there usually sets an owl, and the owl is missing, so he blew away also. We'll have to go looking for him. But he helps, and then the tarp helps also. Uh, it's called a sunshade. Now, we'll link it down below. Well, all of the grommets have pulled out and they're attached to the grommets on the roof tarp that is also destroyed. So there's no use trying to do that. We really didn't want to poke any holes into this wood um, because that's not what it's here for and I don't want it to start to uh, decay. But we are going to use just regular building staples um, so they're easy to pull out, easy to patch the hole. Uh, couldn't decide if we wanted to just take it down. It is the first week of March and typically we should be having warmer weather very soon. But March for us is also a time of high winds and ice storms. It happens every year so we decided um, it's not pretty but the comfort of the chickens is most important. So we're going to go ahead, staple it back up, leave it up for a couple weeks and then you know when the weather improves in a couple weeks we can certainly take it down but for now they can be well protected and um, like I said we just built this run last summer we've never had a run before we didn't have a need for a run so all this is new and um, finding the materials that work best is, is difficult as well but we've learned a lot and now we are ready for next season and we can start doing the work now to prepare for next winter. So we're just gonna go ahead and use those building staples, put it in and leave this up. The roof we are not going to do anything with. For the most part, the middle section is still doing a little to keep it dry in there. But when there's heavy rains and the snow, we have to you know beat the snow off, but then when the snow melts too, it still drips down. It doesn't keep it dry like we want, so we do have a, a different plan for that. So we're just gonna leave it. We're not gonna do anything. We're not gonna staple it. We're just gonna let it um, do its thing. If it comes off, it comes off. But the walls all the way around are gonna protect from high winds and if it's wet they can go in the coop to stay dry there's also a mini roof over the back entrance to their coop so they kind of have like a little back porch if you will and so um, that's the plan that's what we're gonna do here and then we're pretty close to wrapping up um, what we're doing out here today so uh, it was a good work day there might be a couple other things we tried to squeeze in but uh, so far so good and I'm just looking forward to being out here and getting spring cleaning done. You know, March, you know, things have blown and tossed all winter and March is super windy and things just blow everywhere and there's lots of debris and lots of limbs down. So I am looking so forward to getting out here and doing spring cleaning. It's just, um, I cannot wait. I can't tell you how I cannot wait. So. Let's finish this up and see what else we're gonna do today and wrap it up and just an update, Little Rue is doing great. Everybody else did go out to free range. He is still in here just walking around the run and that's what I wanted him just to get familiar with his surroundings where he isn't gonna be bullied or picked on and he can roam freely in here and check it out. I'm gonna toss him some grain um, because he, you know, probably didn't make it to the breakfast bowl. So I'm gonna to toss him some green and uh, let him eat in, in peace and let them run for a while. They are loving it, so that's the plan. So my husband brought his big muscles over and this is quite um, tough to do. We had to get some snow off and he got that put back up and um, it's the wind starting to pick up. So that was pretty tough to do. So he did that and we're going to put in the staples and I'm so glad we did because immediately the wind changed directions and it got really cold outside and it was a good thing. I did find the owl and I did put him back. So that was a good thing. And then the last thing I wanted to do on our work day was to make sure the coop was clean. I, like I said, I try to keep my coop very clean and very dry. And uh, the forecast is really cold in the teens for the high for the next few days. So wanna keep them clean, warm and dry. 
for now. Well, everyone, that is it for this video. Thanks so much for coming along on our big cleanup day. It was a great success. We did get a lot of things and a little bit more crossed off the list. So we got the greenhouse assessed and we're going to take a look at that tarp inside and see what we can do um all cleaned up out here we got the run put back together he did actually put some more staples in the top and we got the side so they're going to stay nice and warm the girls were able to come out in free range and have a ball find some bugs and things and they're very happy the coop got cleaned and um so everything went well and we did get a lot accomplished. So thanks so much for coming along. Please like and subscribe if you like this kind of videos. We don't want you to miss any part of the journey. And we look forward to seeing you all soon. Be blessed and be safe.